What did you say before the show about the James, the, there's James Bond news that's going on in the world? James Bond news, Rich. Uh, you know, we're always uh, on the lookout for who could be the next James Bond. Yes, sir. You know, now that Daniel Craig has is, is hung it up. Yes. Are we well, always on the lookout for that? I mean, it's one of those things that people talk about a lot. James Bond is one of the most famous movie franchises that we have, right? Right. So the James Bond casting director, people always throw out names. Idris Elba, I've heard lately. Yeah, Idris Elba, a bunch of, a bunch of names get thrown out. Well, the James Bond casting director said that the younger actors have lacked the gravitas and mental capacity to play 007. Mental capacity? What the hell does that mean? I have no idea. You're just playing a movie role. but Henry Cavill looks good as Bond to me. Richard Madden looks good as Bond oh, to me. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could... Throw out, throw out any name you want, but it appears we are headed for a Bond that is a relatively unknown male in their early to mid thirties, and so it kind of got me. So if you're on a second, just before you get before you get to your kind of thinking thing, okay. so there could be some actor anywhere on planet Earth struggling to get a job, yep, that hasn't done a couple, but a couple things. Small parts here and there. They try out one day. They pass the audition. Move on. Eventually pass another audition. Move on and they get the check mark from a studio on the, what, the the Broccoli family? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. And boom. Or is it Broccoli? I don't know. I ever see it. So it says Broccoli on, on, uh, on, the, on the movie It's probably Broccoli, posting. but it looks like Broccoli. And suddenly that person is James Bond? So it could be anybody. Yeah, I've been meaning to tell you I'm unavailable in the future. There you go. Yes. Is <laughs> that what Del Tufo's been doing? He's too young. he's too old. I meant me, not Del Tufo. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. What do you so what so the, so the producer uh, Bar yeah. Barbara Broccoli was Yeah, Broccoli, it, what, I think it is, yeah. It's Chopping about broccoli. reinvention. Where are we taking it? What do we want to do with the character? And once we figure that out, it's who's the right person for that particular reinvention. I don't get it. It's a reinvention. It's just somebody with a British accent who's got a license to kill, who's great with who's great with a gun, and is pretty suave. I heard where you were going <laughs> with that, Rich. Great with women. <laughs> yes, thank you. No, 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 no. Don't go back, baby. That's well, where you were going. Uh, sometimes not great with women, but <laughs> that was part of Bond. Sometimes he had galore. If you smell what the rock is cooking. So okay, I mean, he has a certain type. Yeah. Um, so that just got me wondering, who in the sports world? Would oh, you're make opening a, it up. Would make a great James Bond. And I immediately thought, Jimmy Garoppolo. Man, you love Jimmy G, bro. He's got the look. He's got the olive skin. I maybe, He's well, too I don't nice, know though. Fresh. He's too nice. We don't know that. Yeah, we do. But we know he's good with women, Rich. He's <laughs> too nice. He's too nice. You got to get somebody who's really dark. A little edgy? Yes, that's what you got to do. You got to get edgy. You got to get, I don't know. That guy he looks great in a suit. Bond uh, has to look good in a tux. How about this one? I got one for you. I got one for you. He was just on a Vanity Fair red carpet. He just hosted Saturday Night Live. Oh. He just flexed uh. to cover up his dreadful first pitch, like a YouTube special first pitch, flexed by getting Aaron Judge to give him hitting lessons and kind of cover his tracks. Which is a nice move. How about Travis Kelsey as the next James Bond? Look at that guy. He could learn the British accent. Let's go for it. He's good in a suit. Is he too tall? Huh? Is he too tall? I, I don't I mean, I mean, wasn't Roger Moore a tall dude? Wasn't he tall? Frozen was pretty tall. I think you fix that after. But don't you need you need a British accent? How about uh accent. how about um Brett Goldstein who plays Roy Kent? <laughs> <laughs> we, Oi. Are we, are we taking Bond Oy. to like? R I know you want super R rated. I mean, what about Mike Trout? Trout, you're talking about Trout. Mike Trout. I don't know. I'm just trying to think yeah. of. I'm trying to think of like our athletes who have that chiseled look. Edelman. Ooh, that's a good one. Edelman would be a good Bond. Got the perfect UFC guy, friend of the show, Michael Bisbing. Okay. Got the accent. He could fight. Okay. There he is. That's and here's the thing bad. about Bisping, though, That's right? That's not bad. Here's the thing bad. about Bisping. You don't know. Bisping had his eye removed, 
right? Yeah. So you could put in like a six villain? million dollar man bionic <laughs> eye, and that takes James Bond to a whole new level. Yeah, with Q this. could whip up this like super futuristic. He could do like X-ray. Cyclops eye, stuff come out of his eye. Yeah, there we go. You know, he could take pictures with the eye. So you're you taking know, Bond into the <laughs> Marvel universe? Is that what we're doing here? We're trying come to on Bond now. into the to the elevated 21st century. I don't know. Huh. I was just thinking. I, I don't know. I like Bond. I, I love the Daniel Craig Bond, so I'm, I'm curious where they're going to go next. And I uh, just want to cross this over into the sports world. I want to see, you know, there's a wrestler named Finn Balor who Jason and I saw oh, at WrestleMania. Yeah. You put Finn Balor in a suit with his athleticism, his looks. The dude's got a, like a 13-pack. I don't think he's ever eaten a carb. Like, <laughs> do, you see, do you see Christian McCaffrey's latest photo? Yeah, he's got more abs than McCaffrey, believe it or not. McCaffrey, not. McCaffrey is Bond. McCaffrey is Bond. I, 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 I mean, you're, you're just, we're just, you're just going naming with, guys who yeah, no, are naming that guys who are built. Well, in what way, shape, or form would, and I'd like McCaffrey, but is James Bond? Like, Bond has to be handsome. That is true. Christian McCaffrey's handsome. Jimmy Garoppolo, handsome. Well, if that was the only criteria, then uh, there'd be 10 million guys who could be That's James Bond. Garoppolo can't, in Garoppolo's world, too though. nice. You don't sports think sports. that guy's got a license to kill. You don't. So you want that Indomitian Sioux type edge to them? Yeah. Yeah, Daniel Craig's Bond was a nasty SOB sometimes. Right, Aaron Donald. I like that. Aaron Donald is James Bond. <laughs> I do like it. The scary Bond. That is a scary <laughs> Bond. A scary. Any hockey enforcers, Jay? What do you got? Uh, there's Adrian Kempe from uh, the Kings. He just scored his 40th goal last night yeah. and then oh, just dropped one on top. Yeah. Big hockey guy. He's uh, I'm best, doing best that dressed hockey. every night. Uh, there's, a, there's a few. Do uh, Drew Doughty, if you get him some teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Connor McDavid looks too nice. Look, yeah. People just, he's too big, man. He's too big, too. What about Cody Rhodes as a James Bond character? That's not a bad one. He, he, James Bond he, he villain. With his hair, he looks more a like villain. a villain. Yeah. Great villain. 844 rich number to dial if you've got some suggestions on that. We just want to make somebody in the sports world a Bond, the next Bond. I'm trying to think of NBA players, but they're mostly, they're way too tall. Too tall. They are. Like Dylan uh. Brooks is Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you're, you're, you're. It's a super fly <laughs> Dylan Brooks. Right. So. That, that version of him with his hair down. Yeah. Della Vadova. I mean, Stephen Adams would be a great villain. Uh, I mean, that would be great. He would be he awesome. Would be a great, yeah. great well, villain. isn't uh, isn't Bulbon in the John Wick series? That's Bulbon true. So, was in a John Wick. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to spoil anything. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.